I am cold. <laughs> we need to get you a get you a new fire. Yeah, it's it's dead. It's dead. Should we tell Garrus he can he can go sit on that bench over here next to that dude? What do you think that dude's doing? Oh, there. He looks more casual. I was like, he looks really awkward when he just sits there with both his hands on his on his legs. He has thick hips, Garrus. He kind of does. I feel like I feel like um, Nihilus though had bigger hips, more impressive hips. He's trying to pretend he wasn't just. <laughs> You're right, Mike. Yeah, got it. Got a bit awkward, didn't it? It's like, oh yeah, no, I'm just sitting here looking at the wall. Definitely wasn't just staring at you. Let's just go to the council then. We'll go to the tower and uh, continue a bit with the with the main mission. Who's my favorite companion? Um, I don't really, I don't really have one yet. It's too, it's too early to tell who my favorite companion is gonna be. But I do like my boys. Um, f the humans. There's only, yeah, there's only one. There's one companion I haven't met yet. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence there, to the Good to see you. Look, sounds good, TP. Eden Prime Go get some food. Victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You want it proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Good. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who the fuck is that? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Hmm. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Not Reapers. Yet. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Oh, he died before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. The council's dumb. <laughs> 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped Come out on. all galactic civilization. Come on! If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. The Council of Dummies. Yeah, they're fucking stupid. <laughs> Send me, I'll go. I can take Saren down. I volunteer the commander's tribute. right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Plus, I got space bros with me. 
Uh huh. Space pros? Yeah? Commander Shepard, step forward. Let's do this. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. This is very intense. Hi, Mullet! I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Where the fuck is he? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. Thank We've you. got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. <gasps> Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Bastard didn't even thank you. Hmm. Hi, footage. Hey, serious. Good to see you guys. Um, no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. <gasps> what is this? Factor bonus. Factor training. Talent unlocked. What the? What it? What did it? What? What just happened? Go to skills. Oh, down here, down here. Spectre training. Uh, increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers. Oh, we have four points. No? Now we know Kung Fu. Not yet, but now we do. Um... Carnage. Turns next shotgun blast into explosive ball of power. <gasps> oh, fuck yeah. Alright, let's go. Um. Big kaboom. <laughs> let's do it. Why does he have so many points? Fitness unlocked. What is fitness? Increases health, grants the immunity ability. Alright, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What is this? What is this? <gasps> shotguns! Do you think do you think Rex likes shotguns as much as I do? Do you think that's even possible? Damn thing. Increase the explosion radius in your tech proximity mines. Return the potion shield and restore them even when you're under fire. Okay. Sniper. Sniper. He's basically a vanguard, but bigger. I'm bigger than him. What are you talking about? 
ici. <laughs> Rex with a shotgun is honestly terrifying. <laughs> Who are you? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's going on, dude? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Yes. Sometimes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse ben, a few yeah. days ago when it disappeared. Stronger Just than dropped ben. right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Those are both bad. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Um, um, um... What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. Um, but he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. So... But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting How duck. come this guy was like, hey, don't talk to me, I'm on a break? And then... <laughs> <laughs> All I needed to do was be like, what, what's going on? And now he's telling me like his whole fucking life story. What? Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. Honestly, most of these types of games, you know, you know what it's like? Um, actually, no, it's not like that. But it's like, it's just like a passive aggressiveness thing, you know? Show a little interest in it. We'll tell you everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shepard has insane charisma. I did dump a bunch of points into Give me charisma. The coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find So that we could get the guy to stop complaining about his dead wife. <laughs> Um, yeah. Hello, Commander. Hi. Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No problem. Just show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Dude! What the fuck? Look how much money that is! Look how much money I have! What the fuck? I'm broke. We got, we got nothing. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. It's a very good rifle? There's no way it's that good. <laughs> There's no way it's that good. What the fuck? Well, damn. All right. Sell my ship. Is it even my ship though? Like, can I even sell it? I don't think it's actually mine. Yeah, you, usually I have the opposite problem with games. Like usually I have too much money and I like refuse to spend it. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. It is my ship. We can sell it. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. What's going on? I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What's, go what's going on? Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I Damn. failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council would get me. I have you. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Kaisa, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sell it? No, I'm just joking, but yeah, we're gonna sell the sh we're gonna sell the ship so we can buy that fucking sniper rifle that's 300 k Um, thank you, Kyson. I really appreciate that. It still belongs to the Alliance? No, 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 no. I very clearly heard him say that it's my ship now. So <laughs> that means that means I can sell it. Yeah? You can count on me. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. He did say that. Don't he did, yes. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. I didn't want to be a sniper though. No, but I want that fancy gun because it'll make me feel important. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Is that it? Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I want to own the gun. Yeah, exactly, Mike. You get it. You get it. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. Um. Let's, yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go see the daughter. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. What's that? What's it's that? your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Then Your why, actions still then why are we having this conversation? As a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Welcome back, Glad TV. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Um... I found one. Okay, so we have we have eighteen of those now. We have eighteen of those. Subscribe to the gun, pay it down over the next 60, 60 months. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Um. Okay. So balls. Um. Balls. Balls. I'm distracted. Okay. Every time I talk to the captain, I'm distracted by the collar on his jacket because it looks like it would be really uncomfortable. Have you guys ever had a, like a, a piece of clothing that had that almost like plasticky, um, I don't even know what the word I want is, edging on a piece of clothing? Like it just, it just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> Every time they, they like zoom in on his face when I'm talking to him, it's all I can think about. You know? Hi Kaino! How's your day going? Typical of military uniforms. Yes, Commander. Are you are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly. This like it looks isn't like it like pokes into my his coming to an end. Chin. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. What happened? I think I deserve the they whole story. Me. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out of the world. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. 
He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Um, TP, thank you for gifting us up to Tom. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now you can't unsee his collar, Kyle. You're welcome. I'm guessing things didn't <laughs> go as planned. You're welcome. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Does anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Dude. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. What the fuck? Hi, Quidus. Um... Would I take orders in space battle from someone dressed in a comfy sweater or something, though? I would, actually. Like, you make good choices. <laughs> you know that you need to be comfortable so you're not distracted when you're making decisions. You know? You're not thinking about the gold that's poking into your neck. You're thinking about what we need to do in this situation. Saren caused the explosion. Uh -huh. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame <laughs> Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the butter. Okay. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Bye. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. I didn't know I'd have to make a speech. <laughs> crew, this is Commander Shepard. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. Oh, let him down. The captain gave up everything. So I could have his chance. <laughs> I hit the we music stop. <laughs> and it's gone back on. Oh, and now it's gone again. <laughs> all right, okay. I see D Row. Um. How do I how do I look at the at the map? Citadel. Oh my god. 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 I'm overwhelmed. Okay. Hey, where are we going? If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. What do I say? We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. He got murdered! Carry on, Presley. Dick? Yes, ma'am. What the fuck did- What a dick! Okay, okay, okay. We're going here, guys. Come with me, boys. Um, 
Um, um, um. Why am I in a vehicle? Do you guys just want to run around? I would rather run around than drive around in a video game. How the fuck do I get in there? It's surrounded by mountains. We need a horse, like in Skyrim. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> Guys, can I run them over? driver. my question earlier. Oh, you push B. Oh, you can get out. <laughs> I had to stay in there. <laughs> well, that would have been a lot easier if I had jumped out. We could have killed all those dudes on the ground. Oh, hello? instructions and they're like oh hey you're in a vehicle now they didn't tell me how to get out of it <laughs> they didn't tell me shit but like you live in here now it's like how do I get back to my ship I don't know maybe maybe we can't you know like maybe we're just Dock on this planet, they're like, hey, there's a pressure warning, and then they gave me a vehicle, didn't tell me how to get out, and I was like, oh, maybe because of the pressure warning, we gotta stay in the vehicle. You know? Yeah. This is this is your life now, yeah. Okay. We might come back here later. <laughs> how do I get back to my ship? <laughs> how do I how do I go home? So, somewhere, somewhere in here, but we don't know, we don't know which one. She could be, she could be around here somewhere. Oh? The ruins? That's what she's that's what she's researching, right? Prothean ruins? Join the surface? She's probably she's probably here. She's pro she's probably here. Do 
there's nothing interesting here. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Can you, can you, can you send me, um, can you like drop the pin? Drop the location? That looks like in Zelda when you can blow up the rocks. <laughs> I want to blow those up. Drive into the lava? You dare me? No, I don't give in to peer pressure. But now I want to. intrusive thoughts though? No. No. I give in to um what's the I'm like, I, uh, you have to use, like, reverse psychology on me. What the fuck was that? Something, something flashed up. Oh my god! Hello? Hello? Only a fool wants to that. How do, how do I, how do I, um, I, I want, who's that? Is that a missile? Might not let me here. Garbage. <laughs> let me in. Oh, well now we're okay. Yep. Uh huh. Let's go this way. Like you're you're all. <laughs>
Anybody else? Anybody else want to die? There's a dude over here. Open the gate. Okay, so balls. Um, balls. Balls? Can I quick save now? I can quick save. Okay. Hopefully, I don't regret that. Um. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. We're just gonna explore a little bit. Oh, that's it, right? Where's the building? I went in that building. Let's go over here. Moses is running around upstairs. I had to, I had to vet wrap his back leg because he's got like a really bad hot spot that he just won't fucking leave. Upgrade kit. What is this? Chemical rounds. Hey chat, question. Question. Those upgrades and stuff that I'm picking up, are they automatic? Do I have to use them? Like, do they get put in my inventory somewhere? They're in my, they're in my inventory? Put them in slots on the gun, okay. Oh, that's kind of lame. You have to attach them, okay. But the, this is a stupid building. There's nothing in here. Where's my loot? Where, where's all the fucking loot, chat? Okay, we're going over there. Going over there. Going over there. Um. Okay, so balls. Fuck. Shit. Balls. Um. We're gonna quick save. We're gonna look at our equipment. Covered items. Take all of that. Um. Uh Oh 
it's the same. Never mind. Okay, so balls. Um, balls. Balls. We get four, four points. What is this? Restores dead squad members with 30% health and 50% shields. Do we need that? Did I level up? I did. I did level up. Because I'm the best. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Do you guys ever do the, um, the auto assign? I'm, I'm curious about it. No. You don't. You guys have control issues. You did for some characters. Not all. You're a control. You're a control freak. <laughs> you don't trust auto for that sort of thing. I wouldn't for certain games, but honestly, for games like this, I was like, I don't care. I just want to shoot things. That's really cool. That's really cool. Guys, we're in space. We're in space. I mean, we're also in space, technically. It's like, I don't think about it. But, you guys know what it You auto leveled everything, Furious? Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see why. You know? We're all in space, yeah. Next one. You don't want to get stuck because of the computer choices. Go more flow with the game. You use it pretty frequently now. I feel like games that do that, it's like as, as long as you're aware of it, and then you're like, okay, so they're gonna they're gonna level this guy in like a certain way. Oh my god. Then you know like how you have to like play that guy. What the fuck is that thing though? <laughs> Get fucked dude! Um Hi Jeannie, I had a pretty good weekend. How about you? Oh my god, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Hello? What the? Why does chat? What it? Season of Destiny 2. Oh, is it fun? Destiny is a game I've never gotten into. What's over here? You can't exit when you're driving around like a lunatic.
saved over here? Could be like a yeah, it could be auto save. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I started watching um has anybody watched Louder Milk? Apparently there's three seasons of it. Yeah, Rod, have you watched it? Do not exit the vehicle while moving. It can be dangerous for your health. Thank you. <laughs> That's a great, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Robbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I, I started it. it. It just got added to Netflix. And um, I started the first season because I recognized the guy. I was like, oh, it's the dude from Office Space. Um, it's pretty good. I'm like, I think I'm like halfway through the first season. I like it. I keep hearing about Saltburn Waffle, but I have no idea what it is. I just know that people keep talking about it. Which dude? The first, like the main guy. My driving tester. Okay. Do I have to take care of everything? Hmm? What are you shooting at over here? What is he? Sh what is he shooting at? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Dude, 
up there. Stop shooting them in the crotch? Never. No. Who the fuck do you think I am? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get him, boys! Let's do this. Behind that rock. to get fucked, but that's gonna be difficult. Due to the lack of balls. That's why I shoot them twice. Yes! Yes, that's why I shoot them twice. get that in time.
chill for a second. I gotta chill for a second. I gotta chill for a second. So like... It's these fucking stalkers, man. Shields, bitches. <laughs> I killed all the stalkers, yes. Okay. What do you? I'm a little busy here. Doing what? Huh? Doing what, Rex? How do I bring Garrus back? <laughs> He's helping. How do I bring Garrus back? There's two. There's two more dudes. Oh yeah. There's more red. Must be more. Okay. Uh, wait, come on. Hello! Okay, oh! Oh, he was pretending! He was pretending. He's fine. There's a mini map under my camera, yes. You okay? Back from the dead? Doing all right? Chad, that was so fucking intense. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. I was like, yeah, there's no way. There's no way we're gonna be able to, like, be able to actually do this. But we did it. As we're getting through it, thank you. Thank, thank you. The first, the first couple attempts, I was just honestly like way too overwhelmed. 
I was so fucking overwhelmed. Whereas, like, there's there's too much going on and I'm very stressed. You know? Where do we go now? Um, into a tunnel. It would appear. To kill more dudes. Oh, it's a, it's a quick save. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. It's a quick save. Whoa! Never a Prothean ruin before. It's come. Aside from the Citadel, I mean. Well, come in, boys. You're gonna get crushed by the door. Let's go. Caught it that time. That's still true, Cupcake. That is still true. Oh, hello? difficulty I'm playing on? I'm playing on the one above normal. I can't remember what it's called. Veteran? Maybe? Veteran, I think? Yeah. But I don't- I don't play a lot of shooters. I play a lot of difficult games, like I play like all like the soul games and shit, but I usually um, I usually have a sword. You know? Can I Go away? No time to sleep. I will heal you as soon as I am able. Oh, I probably could have blown that up. That would have been fun. <laughs> Controllers in most games. Oh, you really like them, my <laughs> Okay. What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? 
How? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Venezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need okay. to figure some way past this energy field. Okay. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay, take on. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The Why defenses be cannot up? be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. out into the open. I feel slightly guilty. But also, we're just have name him up. <laughs> you know? This code, I don't think. Do we know this code? Um. What hap? What hap? What happens? If I fuck this up. <laughs> A. X. B. Y. Did I actually get the first four right just completely by guessing? the barrier easy we blasted through with the mining laser of course yes that makes sense does it please get me out of here before more geth arrive that button over there should shut down this containment field
Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Oh? What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. <laughs> we fucked up, chat. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> Don't worry, Rex. We're gonna make it. What's up with my face? Was I... Was I, like, blown up, guys? Oh, balls. Oh, no. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Um. 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 In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. And the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Name thyself, She'll stay with stranger. Us. Um, not um, an option. Saren wants her, um, and he Jade, always thank gets you so much wants. for the raid. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Thank you. Not, I should have. Doesn't matter. Good to see you. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How is your stream? How are you? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, we're okay. We're gonna take. We're gonna take this guy out from here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look. Ready? Oh my god. How do I? Garrett, your giant head is in the way. Okay. 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 Oh, Garrett is dead. Okay. So balls. Um. Balls.
pistols. Let's go. Pistols for the win. did to me. for me thank you too close commander 10 more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur the normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes they tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull just for future reference we almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes um he saved us joker pulled our asses out of there I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Oh, I forgot Essentially, about Ashley! like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. <laughs> but among them, sorry, I, I am barely like, considered more than a child. Who the fuck is this? That is why my Who's research Ashley? has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. What'd you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Um, Ash is so beloved by the fan base? Yeah, it seems that way. Um, how do you know this? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Who came before them? 
If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. I can help you. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? How? Okay, so I know... I know that it's just a myth, right? Like everybody's like, the Reapers are just a myth. But if she spent her whole life dedicating herself to research on this, like, wouldn't she have at least, like, I've never heard of? She's never heard of the Reapers? That seems unlikely. There was a damaged but she Protheum hasn't even heard of them? Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. Hi, Hyland. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. You can still help him. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Liara. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? That's all for Go now. Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Uh, do, do we want to talk to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help us. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never. <laughs> you love hanging up on the Council. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Oh, disconnect! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it the was. We're crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always them. take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. No pressure. Hey, chat. Um... If I were a doctor, where would I hang out? Also, will she give me free um, medical supplies? That's really why I'm asking. The med bay? Well, yeah, but like, where the fuck is that? Is that in here? 
There she is. I found her. There we go. What's back here? Oh, she's already better at doing research. Free drugs. Yes. Yes, I'm just here for the free drugs. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Okay, hold on. We'll go we'll go there, but first we're going to do this. I'm going to survey that. Don't care what sports to do, whatever. Football? Okay, American football, to me, is the most boring sport to watch. Nothing ever fucking happens. It's like four hours of ads and like ten minutes of gameplay. And then it's everybody just fucking stands around and talks to each other and does nothing. <laughs> it's so boring! <laughs> You've never seen a baseball game, apparently. John, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you. Um, baseball, baseball is kind of like that too. Yeah, but man, watching a football game? Oh, no, thank you. Like, okay, there's, there's like the odd play. That's cool, you know, like the highlights. Um. But that's like 10 seconds in like every fifth game and they're all four hours long. Um, it's so fucking boring to watch. <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> they don't do anything. They don't do anything. They just talk to each other. And then they like zoom in on all their faces as they're talking to each other. It's garbage. Why do you think you have something about the side? You have something to watch me? Yeah, but like even the plays, most of the plays are just dudes crashing into each other and nothing happening. <laughs> like even, even if there's gameplay, most of the time it's garbage. <laughs> like they're not doing anything. I don't understand. It's so dumb. Watch for the big plays. Yeah, but like. We have the internet now! Can't you just watch them after? You know, save yourself the four hours? Hockey's the best game you can play- yeah! Is it the same for hockey? No, 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 hockey- like, hockey, they're at least fucking moving. They're doing plays. It's like, there's commercial breaks, yeah, but they don't- like, the- Football? there's commercial breaks and then they come back to the game but they're not playing they're standing around and they're talking to each other you know to examine all of them and get more XP. Looks like these men were under Admiral Kuska. <laughs> I wanted more, guys. The man, he'd want to know what happened. All right. Oh, 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 I just, oh, just ignore what I did. We could, we could go back, um, we could go back to the citadel because there's a there's a couple things at the citadel we have to do. Let's do that quickly while I decide what what I actually want to do. There we go. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. 
Now we've landed. Now we've landed, we can get out. We can go take care of some stuff. Maybe we'll try to find the last two keepers. Come with me, boys. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Thank you. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hi, Alex. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. When the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever, they got them on our ship and you. And orders. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you the jump. I don't like this guy. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. Don't insult my ship! This ship has saved our lives a dozen times over. You leave the ship out of this! I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. She is. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. We should push him. Commander, I'm not happy. What? what did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? We use our suit or uniform radios. Anyone who needs to talk to me keys into my line. It's as if they're next to me. Which only works so long as you all have working radios. Maybe your DC drills should include sign language. I have to shake my head at that drive core of yours. Who is this bitch? Credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? I don't what care, good dude. What to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. It also makes us the fastest ship in the fleet. Without the Tantalus Kick core, right Eden the Prime would be a smoking crater right now. Eden Prime does have a smoking crater on it, Commander. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Sorry. I'm sorry you disapprove, sir. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? No. None, sir. Very well. I'll be sending my report and corrective recommendations to the Joint Military Command. Not that I expect them to do anything about it. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. Commander Shepard? Oh, he's a dick! In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. You reloaded and told him to pound sand! <laughs> Commander Shepard? Yes? Police have been seen in Algelani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Depends. What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. <laughs> Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? 
honored. The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? <laughs> Shut you up! <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble for this interview. The Normandy has only been loaned to the Citadel. It's a legal technicality that allows me to use her in my new role as Spectre. So, this was only to help you in your new job working for the Citadel. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get She's the respect bitch. it deserves from the galactic community? Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not gonna be a part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? We should have slapped her. Right in the face. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with no, you? No, fuck you! Oh. Done talking to bitches. Where's the where's the person I want to talk to? Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? Found your men. You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Help. Anything you need Why do me? I keep offering to Not help right now, We got so much to do. I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. <laughs> Be like, can I help you? Can you add another thing to my to-do list? Do we need a messenger boy? Uh, okay, the embassy lounge. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. Are you in trouble? It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. I'm sorry for your loss. No. Oh. Damn. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. So you got money. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. 
I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. <sighs> so they need my help. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to Everybody bring her back. Everybody needs my I've fucking already found help, her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman Hi, for the Liza. job. Come back and see me when the job is done. All right. Okay. All right. Balls. 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 I need a secretary. I do. Yeah. Do you think Ashley's up for it? Or what's his face? One of the humans, because they're never leaving the ship, so they might as well um, do something. Put them to work, yeah. I don't I don't like them. I don't like Ashley. Or Caden. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't like them. They both suck. Message coming in. Patching oh? it through. Oh? Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Oh, fuck. I don't blame you for walking out on her. Sir, she was gonna make me look bad no matter what I said. You're probably right. I guess it could have gone a lot worse. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. They're pissed. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Oh? Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Law. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, Be but I found the coordinates for Be one of their research you. worlds. I'm uploading them thank with this you, message. Thank you for They're completely sad. out of control. Um, Somebody needs to stop them. Enjoy the emails. I've done thank my that's part. Very kind. Now it's up to you. Probably the last you hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Oh shit! Is she- Oh, she's on! Oh yeah, she's in the place where we couldn't get in. Remember where we kept dying? <laughs> she's, in, she's in there for sure. Um... Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Um, okay, okay, we're gonna give. Hey, yeah, you can have that. Rex, you take that, okay? Garrus? If you're gonna stand there, I need you to do something, please.
Okay. Okay. All right. Did we get them all? I think we I think we got them all. We haven't used any upgrades or anything. Am I sure? No. Never sure. <laughs> no. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. Dahlia. Where are you? It's very quiet. Door control, hold on. Let's go this way first. There's not a... There's not a ton of loot. Is this like evil version of Shepard's team? What do you mean? Oh, like the people we killed? Not functioning object. Skill too low. We do not, we do not have the skills. Sister's not a fucking hostage. Is her body still down here? You know what we should do? We should we should take the corpse of her sister back to the embassy and throw it on the table. <laughs> right in front of her. Be like, explain yourself. <laughs> It should be. It should be. Just the head? I feel like, I feel like the bo the body's, the body's more dramatic though. You know? <laughs> if it's, if it's just the head, I don't know. It doesn't have the same impact. Only the head would be very basic, yes. That's like a basic bitch plan. You know? Only people who are truly psychotic would bring the entire fucking body. Right? Like, they're gonna remember that. <laughs> it's a day they'll never forget. Matters. Yeah. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior oh, sorry. atmosphere. Oh, sorry. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay. So she basically, like, she's going to jail. Because she basically sent so her sister it, a bunch this of money. To fund a slaving Fighting operation. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations <laughs> to get in the way, I'd say Which is a lot worse than paying a ransom, terrain. which she wasn't even supposed to do in the first place. You know? Like, she fucked up, big time. But maybe she didn't know. Maybe she didn't know. It's possible that she didn't. Hey! Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? I found her. Dahlia's dead, and I know she was blackmailing you. So the truth comes out. I hope you're not angry. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. That is why I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. I don't like being used. Do your own dirty work next time. I am sorry I wasn't honest with you. We have trust issues in my family. Obviously. <laughs> I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. 
but I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. How do... How do I... How do I... Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. How do I buy that stuff? Let's do, um... Let's do this last one, because it's been, it's been here for the longest. Go to the Hydra system. Or no, sorry. Hydra system. Message coming in. Patching it through. General distress call for the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Vault blast. Please hurry. Heat hazard. Inhospitable and dangerous. Alright, we're going here. And we're going to die. going on here anomaly can we go to the transponder signal first Let's see what's going on over there Ugh. is Canada the actually the only place where they sell bag mouth nowhere else in the world just Canada That can't be true. There's a wreckage. The signal must be coming from there. Careful, Shepard. I've got a bad feeling about this. Gap! It's a trap! dead. I don't know if there's anything actually down here anymore. We're gonna check it out though. No. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're gonna die! Oh, chat! Oh, chat, I'm so dumb! Level 2 hazard. <laughs> Level 2 hazard. Yeah? Careful. Fucking careful, man. It's hot out there. Can I go up here? Come in. You can get up there. No. <laughs> I'm 
we we made it back though. We made it back. Sci-fi or fantasy? For me, fantasy always. But this game's really cool. I I do I do like sci-fi, but fantasy fantasy is like my thing. Oh, fantasy. Oh no, we're gonna get stuck in here. Lord, Lord of the Rings is my all-time favorite franchise. Yes, we talk about Lord of the Rings a lot, actually. No, Garrus, get in the vehicle. Okay. I actually haven't watched um, Ring of Power yet. I haven't got I haven't gotten around to it. I'm kind of scared. I'm I'm kind of scared because Lord of the Rings means like a lot to me. And uh, I heard it wasn't very good. Did we did we finish this one? We did, we did. It was just a trap. Okay. The sentry system in the Hawking... Hawking edit cluster. Sentry? Hawking okay, edit. Sentry? Hawking okay, edit. Sentry? Hawking okay, edit. You liked this, what people said. I'll probably watch it at some point. People who do know Lord Lord of the Rings Lord don't like it as much yet. That's like, I mean, that's pretty typical though, right? It's like, those are gonna be the harder people to please. Which one, which one was it? Oh, there's only one, Sentry. So staticky. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Edda cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Giant Alliance. Faster. And we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him in his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might yeah. listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. <laughs> We're... I trust you to use your judgment. We're gonna Knock it out. we're gonna blow people up. Let's be honest. There's um there's gonna be some violence. Oh, it's pretty here. It looks cool. Uh, going up there. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, it's fucking cool.
think if I get enough air, we could fly to it. I mean, I guess we have we have a spaceship. We don't need to launch our little rover at it. You know, we could use the spaceship. But it just seem, it would just be, seem cooler if I did it this way. You know. It'd be way more impressive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chat. 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 Can we make it down there? We slide and. Than I expected. Whose plane was this? Mine. I'm taking. I'm taking the credit because it worked. Oh shit! I missed that. The rover is crumbled in from impact. Oh, pro probably because they they tried to get to the moon. Or the planet. I'm not sure which one is which. To move illegal wildcat miners are dead. Debris just sliding down the road is left by its tires. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't... This isn't what I thought we were doing. Aren't we, um... Go to the sentry system... Is that, that's not, that's where I am though, right? Maybe, um, maybe it's this? Biotic compound. Yeah. That's the thing we want. I can get out of this hole. It's fine. Oh no! Oh! We're fine. We're okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay. Let's go, let's go this way. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. The same plan to go another. Yeah, just like we did. Yeah, but I did it better. You know. Remember, we're gonna talk to them before we shoot them. Maybe I could be the new cult leader. Like maybe I can take over. I guess this is gonna go. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. 
Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. That? Is that a building? <laughs> Are you a building? You're not a building. That building? I don't see any other buildings. We charmed him. We're very charming. Hello? Hi. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. There's gonna be a lot of people we have to kill. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna have to kill a lot of people. What the fuck? Where am I? I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. They're not safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You're not leaving me much choice, Major. Damn. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must die. murder everybody because we can't pass this dialogue check it's like we could just could just start shooting people you know My we're going straight renegade now just to get him to stop talking i didn't come here to listen to a <laughs> madman's preaching i speak but you do not hear you are like the others a blasphemer who must die. Kaboom! Wait, do I do I have the thing that um, lets me bring them back? Is that unity? Oops. Up you get. We 
I'm not done here. No napping. Where am I going? This way, yeah? This way. Hello? Any more bitches? Where'd the rest of the bitches go? Are we? Oh, we just have to. We just have to go back to the ship. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't need to track down and murder everybody. Did we? <laughs> Maybe we could have left the followers alive. Um. it actually you know what I don't think I don't think we could have gotten out of there without murdering them plus they would just start a new cult yes coming in patching it through Admiral Hackett here commander your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle we never like to see civilian casualties but I think we all knew how this was gonna end you did what you had to do the news vans are going to pick up this story for sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, Shepard. Pack it out. Alright. I feel like this is a good spot to wrap up for the night. It's been about four hours. And, um, we can pick up here next time. But guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back on Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, 6 p.m. And, um, we'll keep playing this because it's super fun. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for lurking. Thank you for being so wonderful. And I will be back on Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out. Bye bye bye.